a stone's throw from the mill And I'm a good walk to the river When my working day is over And goes from our care away
you say so.
I love you with all my heart, all my soul, every part of me. It's all I can do to mark where you start and where I end, you see. I'm living long in my travail. So that's all we have time for for today's show. I do apologize, there's several folks that have had some frustration that the project's not moving along fast enough. They wanted to see, you know, see uh, some more progress and I don't know what to tell you other than uh, what I might recommend is just wait till uh, we get, you know, get a few episodes uh, up and then you can watch them all at one time and then that, and that, that might help with your frustration. Um, it, uh, you know, it just goes as, it takes as long as it takes. It, um, this stuff, you're putting cribbing up a big log like this and uh, doing a little bit of notching. You know, it's it's not that time consuming. What is time consuming is um, is producing the video. Um, so you know, it's a it's a better part of a day just to do this. So I, if you want daily videos, um, it's kind of the speed that it has to work at because I have uh, a lot of other responsibilities uh, to do as well. I was hoping to get the log peeled today, um, but we had a um, we had a medical call this this morning with the fire department. Um, and it's really been on my mind all day as I've been working, thinking about that. So we got a call that a, a gentleman that was uh, in his 70s or so had uh, fallen uh, and wasn't able to get up. And, and just just so happened that he's only uh, just a couple miles uh, to the south of me. And so um, we showed up. I was the second second of the volunteers there. And um, uh, and we went in and uh, see if we could we, we could help figure this out. Um, and uh, the, the gentleman's big, you know, he's really large. He's, um, you know, 400 pounds or so. It's, it's, and he's, um, you know, and he's in a really small cramped area. And uh, so we called in for some more help and um, uh, I think maybe a total of seven or eight volunteers showed up and we um, helped him, you know, got him back up on his feet and, um, and, uh, and going again. And, uh, you know, it, I guess the thing that I, it's been on my mind that, that dawned on me is that this guy, uh, uh, I can't say his name, I don't want to give away any information, uh, was a, um, uh, worked as a, uh, in law enforcement for, for many, many years. And, um, you know, and I don't know the circumstances. I've never met him before. I don't know how he got in the situation that he, that he did, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a rough, it's, it's rough. Um, I, I, don't, uh, I don't make any judgments about his physical condition or, or I don't know you know you you we, I don't make judgments on people because I don't know what they've been through and I don't know I haven't walked in their shoes all I know is that um, here we have this guy that's you know essentially my neighbor um, and needs some help and I you know I didn't even know about it and I, I, I got to talking to him just a little bit before we left and you know we had some common interests we had you know of course he was he was into firearms I noticed he had some um, you know different things around paraphernalia that uh, um, that gave me that you know gave me that impression uh, but there he is you know he's, he's stuck in the small room and, and he's not mobile and he can't get out and I thought how much would it mean to him uh, to stop by once or twice a month uh, maybe uh, bring him a stack of you know old NRA magazines or or, or a book or, or, or something you know that it, just to just to stop in and, and just so he knows that Hey, we're your neighbors, and and we're thinking about you. Um, how much effort would that take on our part, on my part, to do that? And I'm not, I'm not casting aspersions at anyone. I'm talking to myself. That uh, I guess the thing that I want that came out of this is, is I want to be more aware, and I invite you to do the same thing around your community. I think it's pretty easy to tell if there's a shut-in, if there's someone that's um, um, unable to get out of their home, and would it be that big of a sacrifice to to take them a meal uh, once a month? or to, to sit with them for 15, 20 minutes and, and, and just visit or, or bring them some books or magazines. or So I, I want to invite you to, to look around where you live and, and if you are aware of someone like that, um, make that effort. And, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to follow up and, uh, um, you know, I'm, it's the least we can do. It's the least we can do. W wouldn't you want someone to do that for you um, when you are in that position because we're all getting old and we're all more and more going to require um, uh, rely upon the kindness and the generosity of family and strangers so um, I remember the golden rule do unto others as you would have them do unto you all right don't forget to click the thumbs up thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video